Hey everybody, continuing on with the Snowdonia expansion series, we are now going to check out Britannia Bridge, which it's interesting. I would say of all the expansions I'm about to talk about today, this one is the simplest. It has the least impact on the core game. It just adds a couple of little bits. Now I'm going to talk about what those are. First of all, there is, of course, Britannia Bridge itself, which is really part of setup. It's, a, it's an alternative to putting a station down. When you're setting up and you're putting your stations and you're putting your, you know, your track cards between the stations, you're putting all your rubble out, in between the first station, which is no longer Land Barris, now it's Banger, which is a place that's not complete yet, so we could be working on this right from the get-go, and this is where our surveyors are. In between that and the second station, Landfair, the, in addition to there being a track card, there is Britannia Bridge, which is a new card. And in fact, actually, in a three to five player game, you have two Britannia. So Britannia Bridge has two cards of length, but in a two player game, it's only one card long. And now, this is just a card like any of the other track. I mean, you can clear the rubble, like always, and um, once it's cleared, you can actually start building Britannia Bridge. In the same way you would build you know, a, a portion of a station, you could build Britannia Bridge, which you know, flips it when built. And, and then you know, whoever built it, of course, would claim it. Although, this cannot go towards um, you know, a, a station. This doesn't get you any claim. You, just, you mark this here, that you were the one who built it. And... Once it's built, before it is built, its number one impact is, you notice there's this symbol here, you cannot move your surveyors up the mountain. They are stuck. But once the bridge has been built, then the surveyors can start climbing up the mountain. And also, the first time your surveyor crosses Britannia, this new Britannia bridge that's been built, you get, as a free bonus, one resource cube of your choice, whatever you want. So you want some coal? Boom, you can get it. You want some iron? Boom, you can get it. And then you continue on. There's no points for crossing this, but you do get a resource. And then, you know, this sits here for the rest of the game, and it's potential that you could actually, um, you know, so I guess flipping it just counts as kind of getting some basic little footbridge so the surveyor could go across and, you know, some, you know, some simple bridge. But to build it up proper, there are two build things here that require iron rail and stone worth 11 and 13 points for the first and second player to get in. And... You know, that's it. That's the impact. Although, uh, in, a, in this expansion, there are also some new contract cards. Now, they're what? Number 29, 28, and 27. These were place contract cards. You pull them out of the original deck and put these new ones in. And probably the most important one is this one, which the contract calls for, amongst other things, having a contributed to building Britannia Bridge. So if you've contributed to that, then you could potentially score this contract. This contract, uh, the new number 28 and 29, also have another interesting thing. Like this one is 18 points. This one, uh, most of the time, contracts just tell you, hey, build you know, in one station or build in two stations. This contract, to get 28 points, you have to build in stations 1 through 6 or 2 through 7. You have to build in all of those stations. The other one that requires Britannia Bridge also requires you build in every single station. Stations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, that's cool because it's 28 points. That's a big score. Not the biggest, but it's a, it's a good score. But that can be a very, very tense contract to go for because, of course, the dummy player can be completely shut shutting down stations. So you have to work really hard to make sure you stay ahead of the dummy player with his events who might shut down stations and then prevent you from being able to complete these contracts. So there's the new contracts. There's Britannia Bridge, which gives you a little bit of extra, and there's, you know, it's an extra step before your surveyors can move out. And then there's one other thing, a new train, the Dawn Raider. Now this is actually an awesome train. I really like it a lot. It's cheap. It only costs one rail. It comes with one coal. You know, that's pretty standard. And, um, you know, it gives you an extra worker like always. Its special power is what makes it very, very cool. If you have the Dawn Raider, this is kind of like a ninja train. Because it gets up at the crack of dawn and raids the sites. What happens is, you can see right here, whenever the, um, the dummy player's event, when, you know, so when you hit this space or this space or this space, you know, and it keeps on wrapping to this space, when you hit 3, 7, or 10, an event hits there, you, as the player who has the Dawn Raider, have the option to get up super super early that morning and build rail, which will prevent the dummy player from being able to, bi to build rail. And so, you know, having this makes you a much better rail builder because you get these free options. Heck, even on cloudy days, 
to build rail because these events happen. And that's actually just really cool. I mean, it's, it's not a fundamental game changer, but it does feel very unique. And it, and it gives you, like I said, for lack of a better term, it's the ninja train. And so that's actually really neat as well. And oh, and then there's one other thing. The, the final station, it's a little thing, but it has a, uh, a, a special place you can build where basically this space is worth 12 points, although it does not go towards any contract completion bonuses. To build here in uh, Hibernia, you have to give up seven cubes cubes, any color you want, seven of any color to build in that space. So that's kind of a special space to build. And then actually there's one other thing, like uh, let's look at uh, Ty uh, Crows here. You know, when you build these different parts of the station, as always, you get points. But some station spots you can build, instead of giving you points, give you, um, that can help you towards a track completion contract. So once again, um, you know, the contracts for completing track become much more lucrative, both because of the Dawn Raider, which can help you build track, and also some of the stations can contribute towards your contracts as well. So that's kind of a neat change also. And that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, Britannia Bridge, it's nice. It's, uh, you know, it doesn't really change much in the way of the length of the game or um, anything like that. You know, the Britannia Bridge maybe slows down the surveyors if you're a player who really wants to go surveying very, very quickly. Um, you know, because, hey, there's 15 points if you get your surveyor all the way up here to the top of the mountain. But otherwise, just kind of anything. Probably my favorite thing about it is the Dawn Raider, which I really do enjoy. It's a cheap one, it's easy to build, and I just love this power. Now, of course, this power is kind of luck-based because you always have to make sure you're ready to build track. Because, you know, once the event is here and you're waiting, 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 you got to make sure you have your track on hand because if the event happens and you don't have any track, then you can't take advantage of your special power. But that's it. That's Britannia Bridge. And questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, you can hit the button that's on screen to continue on to the next experience. Expansion. What will the next expansion be? Let's say it's the Daffodil line, which I think is Jen's and my favorite of all the expansions. So if you want to check that out, you can follow the show notes or hit the button in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.